The Steam Deck just got a second life coming into 2025. Thank you to the modding community because now we're getting a little bit closer to just being able to turn on FSR 3 on our triple A games. So you can easily enjoy flipping a switch, turning on FSR 3 and frame generation on some of your favorite triple A titles and easily double your frame rate. Hallelujah. In today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly step-by-step -step how to install Decky Loader and Frame Gen and how to turn it on and use it. And we'll also test out some of the games at the end. But mind you, this is new, it's early, and it doesn't work on everything. But we'll get into it, let's start. The first thing that we're gonna have to do is make sure to install Decky Loader. If you already have Decky Loader, you can skip this. But we're gonna go to desktop mode, we're gonna go to Decky Loader's website, and right in the top corner, they have a download button, so we're gonna just navigate over there, hit that download button, then all we're gonna do is open up the folder, double click on it, and hit execute. At this point, you just follow the prompting and it's just going to install this like normal. You're gonna have to put in your sudo admin password. This is like your Linux password, your whole machine's password. If you've never made it before, then just Google how to do that, make that password, put it in, go through the prompting, this takes no time at all, and voila. We now have Decky Loader on the Steam Deck. The second step, which is actually getting Decky Frame Gen, it's here on the GitHub. I will put the links in the description below. Just go down to the releases, scroll down here, and download the zip file. Just that top one, deckyframegen.zip. Let it download. When it finishes downloading, navigate over to it, go to extract here. Now that it finished extracting, you have the folder, you're ready. But what we're gonna do first is navigate to the folder in which we're going to copy these files, which is the homebrew folder right there, but go to properties, permissions, and the owner needs to have can view and modify content. The other ones are not necessary, but if you want to, go for it. And then inside of this, go into the plugins folder and do the same thing. Go to permissions, owner, can view and modify. Now you're good. Now you can say, okay, we're gonna keep this folder open on this side and we're gonna go navigate back to our mod that we just unzipped. All right, now that the permissions are set, go to homebrew and then plugins. Now go to your downloads, find that Decky frame gen folder. You can either copy this or cut it or just drag and drop it, whatever method you want to use. We just need it to be inside the plugins folder. And there it is. That's it. Now we have Decky loader and we have the frame gen mod and it is installed. It is on the Steam Deck. It truly is that easy. So now we can actually just head back into gaming mode and we'll be able to see it and start using it. Okay, there's a few things that we're still gonna wanna set up. First of all, just click over here, go down to Decky. Now you should see Decky frame gen, but it's not installed yet. So you can click that install button, but first go into the settings and hit developer mode, turn that one on. There's also another way to install the mod, but because we already extracted the file and moved them into the folder, you don't have to do this. But this is a pretty easy way to do this. Just go to developer, and then right there it says install plugins from zip file. So in fact, we could have just downloaded that zip file and then jumped right in here, hit browse, clicked it, and said install. And this just lets Decky handle it for you. And so the same thing would happen. Decky frame gens shows up right here. It's no different. Both ways are pretty easy. So whatever you wanna do, go ahead and do it. So make sure that it says mod is installed. It should have that green up there saying it's installed. Once all that is set up, now you actually have to scroll down and find games that have 
DLSS and frame gen built into the game where you can hit this patch button, which will then convert DLSS into FSR 3. To be honest, this is kind of an annoying way to do this where you have to go through each game individually and scroll through this huge list of all these games in your library. But for now, it's new and I'm sure it's gonna get improved and how it works is gonna be amazing. But just go to the game you want, which is The Witcher 3, and I'm gonna hit that patch button. Once it does that, it automatically now reroutes DLSS into this new mod file that we just created that will actually be FSR 3. And if you want to, you can actually go into the game settings in general and look down here at the bottom and it will show you that the launch option is in fact going to that mod. So now we know everything's set up, it should work. We go into the game DirectX 11 does not support the DLSS that we need and frame gen, so you need to make sure that you switch this to DirectX 12. Or at least that's what I was experiencing. In the comments, you can let me know if that's incorrect, but I couldn't get it to work with DirectX 11. So I switched it to DirectX 12, and then everything started working flawlessly. Now we can turn on that DLSS frame generation. Boom. And we need to make sure that we go over and turn on DLSS. And then you can use any of the qualities that you want. So I'm just going to set it at balance. And what do you know? 80 to almost 90 frames per second. This is so sick. And this is an early version, guys. So I don't want to hear any of this complaining and nonsense that, oh, it's not good. See all this glitching? See all these problems? Yeah, yeah, there's some problems, but I don't care because this is only going to get better. The Pandora box has been opened. The Steam Deck is getting some sort of this universal FSR 3 being applied to games that previously we just didn't have this option to do this. All right, here we are in Hogwarts Legacy getting a pretty impressive like 40 to 60 frames per second, but they're kind of all over the place. I mean, we just dipped into the 30s. So it's literally like a 100% decrease and increase. It is jumping all over the place. But now we can go into the settings, head over here, go to that upscale type, get out of that FSR 2, switch it to DLSS, which is actually FSR 3, turn on frame generation, jump back into the game and boom 90 frames per second high 70s the entire time what the heck guys the steam deck is back 2025 what a twist okay it just jumped way down to 40 frames per second that was that was intense i don't know if this like just needs some time to figure out its life but still still guys this mod is very new. It's only going to get better from here. I'm just so excited to see that these types of mods are being created and it opens the door to the obvious pathway, which is Linux is going to get its own version of like AMFM2, where you just have a universal switch that you can just turn on this type of performance on all of the games on these devices which really, really helps the Steam Deck compete in 2025. I'd actually love to know what you guys think about this. Is this the future? Does it breathe new life into the Steam Deck? And is it something that you're actually gonna use or is this just a gimmick? I will see you in the next one.